Hey guys, it's RC Notch Kid here. I'm doing a video on how to know um, why when you're like pressing down your shocks it may squeak. I don't know if you can hear that, but mine kind of squeaked a little bit. But I'm just going to be explaining. Oh, there it goes. You kind of hear it squeaky. Uh, one reason why, or a couple reasons why your car may be um, making that noise is one, you don't have shock oil. This is silicone shock oil. Your shocks in your car, um, right in there, it has kind of light. Right in that little canister behind the spring, right where I'm pointing, that has actual oil in it called silicone shock oil. And what that does is every time you press, push your shocks down, it's re-lubricating that. If you didn't have that, then this metal would be sounding really terrible. And the reason why it uses oil is because it's, it's very smooth. And it, when you press the shock down, and you're going off like a jump, you want the land of the car to be smooth. Because you want the whole purpose of the shock is to keep the chassis and the body straight. When you're going, you, want, you don't want it kind of bouncing the car like this. You want it absorbing at the tire. Because the body's not moving. It's just the tire and the act in the um, lower control room that's moving. So that could be another reason why your shock is sounding like that. Also, if you just went from bashing out in the dirt and it's really sandy, could be that right here, it's all got sand in there, right down there where the shock has sand in there. Even right here, when you push down, sand in there. So many places to get sand and down in there too. What I do is I take an air compressor and just blow it down. I don't have one, so I use a little air pump to kind of pump it all out. I recommend you get an air compressor. It's super helpful when you're doing a lot of bashing. You just got your car all dirty. Take that air compressor, you can clean it all out and uh, it's very helpful. So that could be some reasons why your uh, shocks are squeaky. It's very simple. You just take off the shock and uh, you see this little cap here. Once you take it off, take a little wrench, stick it in, turn it counterclockwise. And you'll see in there that there's actual oil in there. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and comment. Um, thanks for watching.